craft this? For real? How can I not craft this with 29 rare cards? So this is an interesting version of this control. Oh. It just needed to be reset, I guess. Sultai seems interesting too, but let's craft this because we wanted to craft this for so long now. Finish deck. What is going on here? Okay, so it's Okay, I didn't delete any of my stuff for some reason. Let's make sure we call this Esper Control. All right. So looking at this bad boy, it's the anti-aggro deck with the slow control kill of bouncing uh, Oath of Kaya over and over again with Teferi. <laughs> Um, also, Shark Typhoons and Liliana as win conditions. Not a lot, but I've seen it do some pretty interesting things. My main holdback in getting it crafted was all of the lands that I didn't have. I didn't have a playset of Godless Shrine. I didn't have a playset of Watery Grave. Now we do. And uh, we're going to take it for a spin. We're not going to take it for a spin in ranked for right now just because I am very close to diamond and I want to try and eke it out um, with about a week or so left in the season I'm diamond three that strikes me as doable um, and it'll be my first time hitting mythic if I do make it if not I'm starting a lot closer than I did last month so or this month I guess and of course last month I started at zero so let's try out Esper control Let's see if we can't earn some wins. Just say hello to everybody again. Avery, you know me. Fey Arms, Feet, Lurks, Paladin. I'm pretty sure Lurks, Relish Drove, and Shriz Bot are all bots, but Paladin, of course, you as well. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We play in some games. I could cycle Shark Typhoon for the guaranteed land drop. So let's keep for now. We'll put this into play tapped. This is this does not strike me as a great opening hand. Especially against Jund Sacrifice. Oh, hey. Not too bad. Let's see if they get the nuts. Unfortunately, in this matchup, there's not a lot um, Elspeth Conquers Death can take out. If they run main deck Loris, they can take out the Mayhem Devils, they can take out the Woe Striders. But I don't think Jund runs Woe Strider. So. Oh well. We're going to save the Shark Typhoon since we have the mana now. And we are going to play Teferi. And we will bounce Gilded Goose. Or you know what? Rather than bounce Gilded Goose, let's bounce the food token. Okay. You can submit it. It says. Return up to one target artifact, creature, or enchantment to its owner's hand, and then draw a card. Up to allows it to be sacrificed, and you can still draw the card. You can submit this for zero, even. 
You don't even have to target anything. Uh, we'll put this into play tapped. Hmm. Okay. What we want is land drops for Liliana. That's what we want. And honestly, I wouldn't have minded if he had sacrificed it. That's fair. He did his job. Okay. That's a good uh, Elspeth Conquers Death target. Let's hit a land. Ooh, I want both of those. Because Oath can just take it out itself. But Elspeth also brings back Teferi. I don't mind tapping out. Oop. <sighs> if we get a land, we can bring Yorian into hand and Oath of Kaya at the same time and possibly reuse Elspeth if something comes up. If not, we still have another one in hand. We can... Ooh. Ooh. What's he putting in there? What's my boy putting in there? No, I won't have time to bring it back, actually. So she is out of Kaya range, but she's not out of Elspeth range. So we got some creature cards in there. Okay. Let's see. I think the answer here is to Elspeth Tamio. What can we get back? Just to fairy with that one. Hmm. Love another land. Okay. We've got Shatter for that. And he could thought erase me, though. But he didn't. Oh, because it's too expensive. Yeah. So I drew a thought erasure. Didn't get a land. I could dig for a land. So what did he bring back? The devil, Uro, thought erasure. I don't want him to be able to take that out. So why don't we do this? Let's bounce Elspeth Conquer's death. Still didn't get the land, damn. And let's get rid of Niv. Oh well. He's going to thought erase us. Probably get rid of Liliana. <clears throat> yep, seems pretty good. got the devil for planeswalkers if he destroys teferi right now i get it back with my elspeth conquers death (laughs) 
And now he's got Bedevil for when that comes back. But we can Thought Erase it. Can we Thought Erase and Narset? We can't. Ugh, man, where is our land? Well, so if we do this, we don't have black for Thought Erase. If we do... Fair enough. We weren't out of the game yet. I don't know why he uh, gave it up. Let's go again. You saw the line? Yeah. My hand was pretty stacked. We were only waiting for that land, right? Resolving a shark would have been pretty nice. Just the enchantment itself, rather than cycling. Ooh. This is the annoy the shit out of my opponent hand, isn't it? We'll keep it. Simic Flash? Or do you think it's Tamer? Ah. Ooh. Interesting. Um, I still want a Thought Erase here, I think. Ooh. Silly me. Almost messed that up, didn't I? Whew! Well, we're gonna go after Nissa first. No, we'll keep that on top. And then we'll take out Chandra next. Otherwise, he's gonna hit all his lands. Good for him. We can eventually deal with our trailblazer buddy here with a glass casket. <clears throat> as well as his other buddy. Um, I feel pretty safe using a glass casket here. We should take out this guy rather than this guy because he could pump himself up next turn if he has nothing else to do. Why the Cloudkin? It's already in, though, man. And if it comes back after he bounces a glass casket, he needs to draw another card. We'll get it next, though. That way, we guarantee we only take two. Next turn, we've got enough to do glass casket and thought erasure. It's pretty good. All right. Answers for that, too. But first, let's erase some thoughts here. Yep, we'll get rid of that. Um, uh, we'll definitely keep that. But with that said, I think I want to permanently get rid of Cloud Concealer. I can get rid of either one, to be honest with you. But if he draws another Elemental, which it looks like that's what he is... Gets to draw a card if he gets it into the field. So let's take out Risen Reef here. It's more damage, but in the end... <clears> hmm, <throat> I see what you're saying. It's that good old chat delay, right? Oh, we don't have it. So let's do this. And we can search it up at the end of his turn. There's a target. Well, 
Nothing we can do about that, right? Taking four to the dome. <clears throat> All right, so the good news is we can draw and hopefully hit another white source. Yeah, we don't want pain right now. We're getting kind of low for pain. We'll take the castle. We will Elspeth, Chandra. And then the good news is we'll bounce it with Yorian and we'll take out Cloudkin Seer or whatever else they play. That. Yikers. All right. Well, we also have Othakaya here to help us out eventually. This also prevents the trigger, which is pretty nice. So Elspeth takes out Cavalier, Omen, you know, um, nah, we got what we want right now. We want to draw something better than that. That is better. Oh boy. All right, so let's get Othakaya down. And swing with our almighty wind condition. <laughs> okay, and we're going to get back nothing, right? Mm, what a shame. Would be nice to get a Teferi back with that, right? Mm. <sighs> Glass caskets for the win, huh? And Grath. All right. I have wanted to play this deck for so long, and it is making me so happy to play it. Granted, we're not in ranked right now. I've actually not done traditional ranked ladder yet, and I think that Tamora Reclamation and Bant Ramp would be pretty effective in both of those. This is definitely a keeper. The question is, how do I want to play my lands? I think it's first turn Hollow Fountain in tap, followed by Ardenvale, followed by hopefully another untapped land. Maybe a Watery Grave if we need to. What is this? Is this Russia? France? I don't know. Makes me want to know. Hello. Hello, member of other country. Nice to see you. Ketria. Timur. He's not going to like this Teferi too much, is he? Ah, adventures. Never mind, he's going to fucking love this Teferi. All right, well, we'll pass, and then we'll do our omen. Uh, what the? I do want both of these. So this way I can get to my Fable Passage without playing. Um my watery grave but let's make him play his clover again and he's going to probably bone crusher giant my teferi or he's gonna play it again and then probably make some one ones or not okay okay Do I want to put Yorian in? Next turn. Let's surprise him with the swamp. Mm. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. He's ramping, he's ramping. Ugh, this is draw card. Why would you not play that first? Can I cast this? If I get a blue. <sighs> Which we'll do. Can't let him get double clover here. Can't let it happen. Sorry, pal. Okay. Not terribly scared of one ones. I've got some of those on my own. Hmm, I wanted to Yorian. But now I can surprise him. Definitely a plus oneing. Nothing really to do. I could also just shatter the sky with whatever nonsense he does. Let's see what he does. That's what I'm probably going to do since he can't kill Teferi right here. He might Bone Crusher though. Yikes. Yeah, he's going to try and play out multiple Beanstalk Giants here. We've got Elspeth, we've got Shadow of the Sky. Well, Elspeth that. Not bad. <clears throat> well, let's pop this. Let's grab a Swamp. Now, do I shatter here? Hmm. I think I just Elspeth conquers death that, and then I bring Yorian into my hand. In which case, I should probably Omen, yeah. It's pretty good too. All right, so let's do this. And let's put this into play tapped. And plus this up. No text. So he can definitely start doing beanstalk giant fuckery. What's he getting? Let's see, let's see. Graph diggers. Can't enter the battlefield, so he can't get my Teferi back with Elspeth if he's got that. Hmm. Interesting. So, let's trade, do we want to kill the guy that he's on? Yeah, let's make him pay for it again, right? Just want to make sure, sure. So we will Yorian here. I 
And I've got black up. Hmm. Okay. And we'll just pass with the mortify up. But he's got graft diggers, man. Oh, it's just creature cards. Never mind. I thought it was all cards for some reason. Let's see, he's got four, five, six, seven. Casting it again, huh? Mm. He's got to be able to kill Elspeth. Yeah. He's got one green, so he can put it on the bottom of my library and prevent my fairy from coming back. But he doesn't. Unless he's got a land in hand. Oh, you can get another one, though. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, uh, given that... Yeah, he's got Dispute. We can Thought Erasure that. And he can counter it if he wants. Let's draw a card first. Kind of make him want to play that again. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, wow. Trump sucks. I can't agree more. Not to get too political on my stream. <sighs> again, no black. When I'm done for the night, I'm going to have to take a look at the mana base. I feel like I should be getting more black, and this is just random, but what do we got over here? Nothing. Opponent goes first. Um, two more. You want to bet? <clears throat> Ooh, maybe uh, Simic. Yeah, but I also have like 36 lands. That's what bothers me about it. Uh, I can't Thought Erase. I can Birth, however. Let's Birth. Let's make sure we hit that fourth land drop. What do you say? We can bounce Leaf Kit. Interesting. So we've got blue, green, black. Growth spiral. My boy's ramping. Boy is ramping. Okay. Let's play Teferi. And we will bounce him. Set him back some. There we go. There's our black mana. And then we'll take a look at that hand of his. Ramp all you want, daddy. Risen Reef. Okay. Man, he is ramping. Elemental ramp, huh? Uh, um, ooh. Double. Double trouble. I could thought a race on his upkeep. Jump. 
Just cause, right? Mm. But would it stop him from having priority first during his main phase, though? I can't remember if I can do that or not. Let's just go ahead and do it now. I can hold it. So if I click this, it'll let me look at the card that he just drew and thought he race. All right, cool. That's what we'll do. Um, other than that, Narset's a good next play, next turn play. All right, to draw. Are you sure? I'm gonna click all of these things. All right, now let's thought erase you. Ew. Overgrowth. Growth Spiral, Growth Spiral, Crassus. Omnath enters, he deals damage to target equal to the number of elementals you control. Does he have red mana? He doesn't have red mana, right? Uh, but he could draw, yeah. I could take out Teferi. Uh, nope, we want that. Dang. Too bad we didn't have another Louie yet. <clears throat> sure. He's going for it. He's going to try and get to Furry. He's going to get him. All right, we plus him up, we let him play something nasty, and we shatter the sky. What do you say, boys? In which case, it's a perfect turn for this bad boy to go into play tapped. Play something else, please. Play something else. Hmm. Boom. Okay. We're going to take out that Crassus next. Unless this is something crazy good. Because we can't get rid of it with Elspeth. <sighs> Let's see. We got six... I definitely don't mind giving up to Fairy in order to take out that Crassus there. So let's do... Or, you know, he'd have to kill Narset too. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it first. Oh no, I can't play Narset too. I can only play one or the other because I only have two blue. I think Thought Erase is a bit better because then I can at least Thought uh, Omen of the Sea. I'll do this. Um, because I want to do Thought Erase and Omen right now, I don't want to do it. I would only have two. Gimme. Yikes. Hmm. Would have been nice to play both, huh? Yeah. Um. Jace, I could have Elspeth, though. I don't think another nurse that's where it's at. Although, I will end up drawing. Nah. Put her there, because I can get her back with Elspeth. So he gets two cards, two life. Not too awful. 
And we lose Jace, and we kill Overgrown Elemental. Alright. Let's see here. Um, I think we need to do better than the omen. It's true. Let's grab them both. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can put Narset in our hand, or we can put Yorian in our hand and Narset for something good. This also shuts down his other Krasis until at least he kills it. That's pretty good. Um, another Elspeth or Oath of Kaya with Yorian starts controlling the board pretty good, I think. Plus, we'll be able to deal damage to him and gain life when he attacks Narset. I think that's the answer there. So let's play this now. Let's take out the Overgrowth. And he'll go after Narset so that he can play his other Crassus. Don't do it. Buddy! Oh no! Oops. My dude. You big silly, why would you do that? Um, so I've got enough land to put everything back in my, put it in my hand and swing. It's not big enough to kill stuff necessarily, but it's not bad. We take out a Paradise Druid and we draw a card and we refresh in our set. Um, so let's do this. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so we'll do... Does that give me enough? Oh, it doesn't, does it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that was weird. We'll do this, this, and this. And then we can take stuff out. The Paradise Druid, so he has to sacrifice both of them. Uh, we want both of these, so we'll just take the Shatter for now. We're not in danger of death, so he has to kill Narset if he wants to do fun things. I feel like we're going to gain four life here and we're going to lose Narset. Uh, no blocks. Okay, so... Attack, play to fairy, bounce the Orion, shatter the sky. But first, let's do this. Take another Narset. He'll be able to draw two cards. We'll do this. Our land into play tapped because who needs to do things, right? We can play that's pretty good, I suppose. Too bad you don't draw the card. Um, yeah, let's scry it up. That seems unfair. 
All right, so we'll plus you up. We'll play the birth, yep. And we're also, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're gonna play both the birth and the omen and Yorian. So let's do this first. Wait, is that right math? Is that right math? Yeah, that's right math. Do we have enough to still cast Yorian after this? Yes, we do. Um, more fire shatter, more fire shatter, shatter. So let's do. Actually, let's keep them both. <laughs> We're gonna draw them, right? All right. So here we Yorian. We refresh. Oh wait, did I already use Narset? No, I didn't. So we can grab the Mortify now. Or the Shark Typhoon. Yeah. Whew. That was nasty, wasn't it? All right. Well, let's see. Is there anything? I really enjoyed that deck. What do you think? Seems pretty strong, right? Has a chance against aggro, has a chance against control. Eighty cards does suck. There's no no denying that. <coughs> At the same time, it allows you to kind of have a much bigger suite of things. And having access to Yorian like that. It's pretty much just as strong as it used to be. Whereas cards like Loris, cards like Obosh really lost out by the companion change. But just looking at how powerful all of these enchantments are that we have, especially when we blink them, and then we bounce into Fairy, and yeah, we just keep it going, right? You don't need Charming Prince, you've got Teferi. If you've got Teferi on the field, you just bounce it every turn. It's pretty good. But I really like this. I really do. Oath of Kaya. I really enjoy Oath of Kaya. Mm. <sighs> Plus the sideboard tech that you'd be able to take in against other control decks. It's just really good, man. I do kind of want to experiment with a Kaya main deck, just because uh, it can be really strong with certain black cards that if we swap in some things like Ashiok or uh, Agonizing Remorse, one Fey would be pretty good. Probably in place of either the Mortify or one of the Glass Caskets, or maybe even the Liliana. But that being said, Liliana wins the game by itself. I don't necessarily... Maybe one of the Elspeth conquers death, actually. We can move the L ECD to the board and have a Fey of Wishes. But yeah, my... Um, is it my Tumor deck that has Fey? No, it doesn't have Fey. My Bant Ramp deck has a Wish board. Because having a Wish board in Best of One is so strong. It's just so slow, is the only issue. Um, getting Karn out against sacrifice decks, and then being able to use Karn to get Sorcerer's Spyglass, a Glass Casket, a Soul Guide, it's sick. It's just sick. But, hmm, for now, one would probably be okay. But in an 80 card deck, one Fey of Wish, ah, I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching. Thanks for chatting, man. I always like to be able to play with somebody else hanging out. Uh, um, I think it's Thursday is the release, right? Today's Monday. I'm going to be opening at least 200-something packs if you want to tune in and kind of jewel with me. Hey, guys. It's me, Naked, and I just wanted to say thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please consider hitting that like button, and if you want to see more Cardboard on Cardboard Crime, please feel free to subscribe as more videos are on the way. You can also catch me live every Monday through Thursday starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash nakedshamus. Just follow the link below. Thanks again for watching, and farewell for now.